Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's math lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make graphs. We will need the words graph, data, information, block, pictogram, and count. At the end of this lesson, you will review what are pictograms and block graphs, and you will know how to make a pictogram and a block graph using the same information. So let's recap what is a pictogram. A pictogram uses information to uses pictures to show us information. So this pictogram shows us the number of different snacks and how many people like each snack. So we have burgers, hot dogs, fries, ice creams and lollipops. And here we can see how many people like each snack. For example, three people like burgers. Two people like hot dogs, four people like fries, and seven people like ice cream, and here we have three people that like lollipops. We can answer questions about the pictogram. Let's, let's look at the next slide. What is a block graph? A block graph uses blocks to show us the information that we need. It must have a title and it must be drawn carefully. So this is just an example of how, what a block graph looks like. Now it's time for us to make a pictogram, pictogram and a block graph using some information. So a teacher collected some information about her class's favorite fruit. So here we can see this was the information she collected. Now we can count how many people like bananas. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 people like bananas. You can even write it down. How many people liked grapes? 1, 2. So 2 people like grapes. How many people like ap apples? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 8 people like apples. And how many people like pears? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 people that like pears. Now it's time to make a pictogram using this information. <clears throat> so we said that 10 people like bananas. So we can put 10 bananas in the picture. How many people liked grapes? We said that two people like grapes, so we can put two grapes in the block over here. How many people liked apples? Can you remember? If not, go back to your, uh, your numbers. Okay, eight people liked apples. And how many people like pears? We said that six people like pears. So now that we've drawn our pictograph, uh, we, can, uh, we can now use this information and make a block graph. Let's begin. So we said that 10 people like, 10 people like bananas. So now, we're going to take our block graph like this and we're going to make 10 blocks over here. Move it all the way up to the number 10. Okay. Now, how many people like grapes? So we're going to move all the, uh, we're going to move this, the grape number, all the way up to the 2. Now we can go back. How many people like apples? We said that 8 people like apples. So we're going to move our block graph all the way to the number 8. And how many people liked pears? We said that 6 people like pears. So we're going to move it all the way up to the number 6. So now we have drawn our block graph. Now let us go and answer some questions. Here is our pictogram and now we can answer some questions 
about it to make it easier. Which fruit is like the most? So can you remember which fruit or can you tell me which fruit is like the most? If you guessed bananas, well done! Which fruit is like the least? If you've guessed grapes, super job! You are doing awesome! How many more people like apples than pears? So here we're going to cross out one apple for every pear. So we have one pear, one apple, 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 one pear, one apple. One apple. We have no more pears left, so we will stop crossing out the apples as well. How many extra apples do we have? Let's count. One, two. So two more people like apples than pears. Now we can, cut. Now we can move on to the next question. How many students are there in total? So now we're going to count all of them together and see how many students voted for their favorite fruit. Let's count. Here we have 10, so we can count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So there were 26 students in total that voted for their favorite fruits. You can go and try and make your own pictogram or block graph using any information that you collect. We have come to the end of the lesson today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Assalamu alaikum.